This program was made possible in part by the National Science Foundation, America's investment in the future. Hey, look at those pigeons there. All right, here we go. Everywhere, everywhere, on the ground, in the air, they are found everywhere you look. But these birds fascinate, I'm telling you straight, it's easy to be a pigeon watcher. Colors, it's a mystery. Such a mystery. All the colors I count, and it's quite an amount. It's easy to be a pigeon watcher. Yeah! Project Pigeon Watch. Like birds of a feather, yeah. Birds of a feather, yeah. Families are out there. Counting together, yeah. Feeding them isn't tough. They eat all kinds of stuff. No, they won't really fuss at all. Pigeon watcher. I'm watching pup 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 pigeons now. Ooh, yeah. I'm watching pup 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 pigeons now. Ooh, yeah. To find out what kids think about pigeons, we ask the experts. Pigeons are really unique. They come in all different colors and all different sizes. <laughs> Sometimes they can be annoying. They got beautiful feathers. I just really like them because I hate them. They have um, shiny colors. <laughs> And they're cute. They're just like us. They want to survive, reproduce, have some fun. <laughs> I like the cooing sound that they make. Very nice animals to watch. <laughs> Almost anywhere you go, pigeons have gotten there first. These beautiful creatures have plenty of personality, which is why people all over the world like watching and feeding them. One, two, let's count together. And in case you were wondering, Pigeons are just as clean as any other bird. Of all the birds in the world, a pigeon is about the easiest to recognize. From New York to London, a pigeon is a pigeon. But if you look at them more closely, it's obvious that pigeons come in all sorts of different colors. Hues of blue, red, black, white, with sparkling multicolored iridescence. Pigeons, also known as rock doves, originally lived and nested on steep rocky cliffs. City pigeons live on the roofs and ledges of buildings that happen to resemble their original cliffside homes. Pigeons live well in cities. Tall buildings provide excellent nesting locations. And since pigeons are not what you'd call fussy eaters, they have an inexhaustible supply of meals. All this variety in city pigeons is a mystery to scientists who want to know why these pigeons come in so many different colors. Is it because certain colored pigeons like to breed only with other birds of the same color? Or do certain colors make birds more noticeable to predators? Scientists hope to find the answers. Well, pigeons are actually amazingly interesting birds. You know, they were bred originally to be a variety of different colors, uh, much the way people breed dogs to be different colors and shapes. But then they've been introduced around the world and they have lived in cities for 200 years. And we would expect eventually, after a few generations, that they would come back to be their original color. For some reason, they haven't done that yet. They're still living in these variety of colors. We'd love to know why that is. Any studies on genetic relationship between these flocks? Mm -hmm. No, no, that'd be a great thing to, to be solve able these to do, mysteries. Right? Not, scientists at the world famous Cornell Lab too. of Ornithology Manhattan, are conducting Manhattan, a research study called Project thing. Pigeon Watch. The exciting thing is the idea of having like 300 of these dots on this map. Right. But there's something very unusual about this scientific study. Ordinary people are playing a crucial role. Pigeon watchers in cities throughout the U.S. are collecting real scientific data about pigeons and sending it to Cornell University scientists. I found a red ball over there. See? Since it began in 1996, 
hundreds of citizen scientists have been conducting Project Pigeon Watch. Pigeon watchers receive easy to follow instructions. I see one blue bar. The first step is to learn how to identify some of the more common color forms of pigeons. For instance, this is a blue bar. There's also a red bar and a checker, which happens to be showing off its plumage. The next step in the scientific process is to find a flock of friendly pigeons that appreciates a free meal. Nine. Ten. <laughs> then, pigeon watchers count the kinds and numbers of pigeons in their flocks. They record this information on supplied data forms, which they send off to the Cornell Lab of Ornithology. Look, that one's courting, that one's courting, see? Scientists are especially happy when pigeon watchers also send them scientific data about the bird's courtship behaviors, since researchers want to know more about which color pigeon mates with another. Right, a blue bar courting a blue bar. Courting a blue bar. Cornell scientists will report the results of Project Pigeon Watch in scientific journals and in newsletters sent to pigeon watchers all over the world. You see those a lot in the park. Pigeon watching makes a fine family outing any time of year, and it can teach kids observational skills and an appreciation for science. Today I had a real chance to get up close and personal with birds. I really see that they're different, unique animals, and I really find them very interesting. I've taken a new interest in city pigeons, and I've lived here for 30 years. This is a wonderful opportunity to get to do something with your child that involves the science uh, that is so much of their future. I never thought a person in a college, you know, would actually come to children for advice. I think that if I could study pigeons more, I could become a scientist of pigeons. All around the world, pigeon watchers are the eyes and ears for scientists, helping answer important questions about this magnificent bird.